Macon man charged in a deadly 2021 East Macon hit and run will not be prosecuted. The district attorney's office cited new witness testimony and GBI analysis that led to the decision. Jasmine Lee spoke with the family of Irene Stubbs, who says they're hurt by the change of events in the case. <laughs> drive in East Macon, you're bound to see at least one person crossing the street with no crosswalk in sight. Just three years after Irene Stubbs was killed while crossing the street, her family got some disappointing news. Irene Stubbs was hit and killed while walking home from the store on July 16th of 2021. Eight months later, Nathan Charles Epps was accused of speeding, hitting Stubbs with a 2006 Hyundai Sonata and driving off. But Friday, the DA's office said they dropped the charges. Bro, hung. Hurt back into our life. It felt like my world froze. Beverly Berry and Irene Stubbs' sister says she fought every day to see her justice for her sister. They didn't do justice to my sister because we fought it for her. We was there. She says as soon as she heard the charges had been dropped, she felt like a wound had been reopened. For her life to be taken from us like that and left a totally blank void in our life. Stubbs' granddaughter Amari says her grandmother was like a mother to her. And I wanted her support and for her to be gone just in a second. It took everything from me. She says she is in shock after hearing that the charges had been dropped. It was more that Bibb County could have done in terms of how my grandmother's death was handled. The Macon District Attorney's Office filed a motion to drop the charges, saying there was a breakdown in the evidence on two fronts, discrepancies in witness testimony and a GBI analysis that undermined part of their case. Stubbs' family says they will remember her as a loving person. She was a wife, she was a mother, she was a grandmother, she was a sister, she was a friend, she was a lot to a lot of people. I always remember her as my mom. In my mind, she's not my grandmother. That was my mom. Now, Stubbs' family tells me they fought hard for her justice, and now they're just hurting. In Macon, Jasmine Lee, 13 WMAZ News. Now, Stubbs' death brought attention to pedestrian dangers in East Macon. The commission passed Irene's law in the wake of her death that included more lighting and sidewalks.